Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server amateur or bucket spigot plug and tour. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to subscribe because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion on what you'd like me to do, feel free to comment in the jibbles below like these great people suggested slime fun, which is made by the busy biscuit slash Mr. Cookie Slime. Now I've done some plugins from him previously so this one is pretty fantastic it easily adds mods much like feed the beast or tech servers without actually installing mods it's just a plugin and then they have a whole list of other ones so this adds like 200 and some different kinds of tools and armor and all that stuff uh, to your server so it's a great addition for survival or townie or any kind of like or maybe even factions i don't know it's pretty cool it does require cs core lib in order to work and it's very very simple so if you have it enabled in the config they will get a book on join for this slime fun guide otherwise they can do s uh you know slash sf this is kind of funny um it changes every time so it's a different color scheme uh which is kind of fun but you can do sf help in order to get all which is this screen and then you can do sf guide and that's going to give them the book or the gui in order to do all this stuff and then if you have the permission notes for cheating and giving and researching and all that stuff you can do sf cheat sf give sf research so sf cheat is going to just open the um menu and then you can just grab whatever item you want out of there which is really cool or you can do sf give to give it to another player which it's sf give and then item you'll see it on the screen and then you have sf research so you can have you can force the research for certain players so maybe you want that to go through your buy plugin or maybe through a voting plugin where they'll get a research or something like that you can do sf stat and then that is going to show you your progress and all the stuff that you have amount that you've spent and then if you have it you could do sf timings to check the performance information of it or a debug fish in order to do that so some of the permission notes for this is the sf uh, slime fun dot cheat dot items dot research so that gives uh, access to that give and cheat command as well as that research command and then the command dot timings um, stats dot others in order to look at other player stats and then you have inventory bypass which allows you to open up any machine that you want so moderators and admins would probably want to do that if they're tracking down all right so the way this plugin works is it actually gives you access to a lot of tools and machines like we talked about and when they join for the first time or they hit that sf guide it gives them a book and if you haven't enabled it in your configuration file it'll actually show up as just a book rather than a gui i enabled it so it shows up as a gui which is really cool you can kind of poke around in here and see all the things that you can unlock now all of them are locked here and they just require you to exchange xp levels in order to unlock them and then you can build them so i've already unlocked the enhanced crafting table which is what you need to build just about anything in the menu so that's where you got to start otherwise um other machines require or other items require different types of machines so we're going to go ahead and click in here and you just left click and then it'll exchange those xp levels we're in creative so we have infinite but exchanges those XP levels for the item. So we're gonna go ahead and build the walking stick in here. So we've, we're building the enhanced crafting table uh, like we saw in that GUI. And we can open that back up and we can click on that. And it's gonna tell you how to make it. So we need this machine or uh, block over here in order to make this layout. And then you get that out of it. So if we right click in here, we can then make that layout and then right click on the crafting table and then we get the knockback stick uh, so we can go ahead and test that out right here and then they well let's get them there we go there they go they go flying which is pretty slick and then if you reopen that GUI, it remembers where you were so you can kind of click around in it and uh, see the type of items that you need to get all those or you have a link right to the wiki to see all the stuff that you need some of the items require other items to be unlocked first in order to build it and you'll see that as you're looking at the crafting recipe so let's jump over the configuration and take a look we are running 1.11 on this which is really fantastic we're going to jump into the plugins and you can see we have the cs core which actually 
downloaded another one as well, which is kind of interesting. But uh, we'll fire up the slime fun and then we jump into the folder. Now there's a few different YML files. We're gonna run through them here in a minute, but we're gonna take a look at the configuration first. Not a whole lot to go in, over in here. You got some stuff that's pretty straightforward. Like I said, you wanna change this to false if you want it to show up as a GUI rather than the book, like I said. Um, and then you can also change the ranks that shows up as your players progress. They get these other ranks. So the first one is the chicken rank, which is kind of nice. We can jump into the items and you can enable and disable any item that shows up. And like I said, this list is huge because there's a ton of items. And then I love it when the authors add this messages YML. So you can really tweak the way it shows up. You can change the prefix. You can change the color codes, uh, the language if you want to. It's pretty fantastic. I love when they add this then we have the researchers um, and then the cost to research so you can change the cost of each item the number of levels that's required for each item you can change that in here and then you can actually whitelist or block different items depending on the world which is pretty fantastic and that is in the whitelist.yml there's also generators and scripts i'm not sure what all that's about it's probably a lot of background stuff so we'll just leave that alone let's jump back into the game and wrap it all up this will be a great addition to your servers hopefully this helps you get up and running like i said it's pretty straightforward it's just kind of poking through that gui to find the stuff that you want that you want to create and you can disable anything you want in the configuration be sure to do that all with the server off otherwise you might break a lot in the plugin if you're doing that while your server is running. Hopefully you guys find that video helpful. This is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. <laughs>